Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. We have a great morning planned. I'm very excited to be here. We, and I'd like to get started by talking about the post-PC revolution. It's happening all around us at an amazing pace. And Apple is at the forefront leading this revolution. When we're talking about the post-PC world, we're talking about a world where the PC is no longer the center of your digital world, but rather just a device. We're talking about a world where your new devices, the devices you use the most, need to be more portable, more personal, and dramatically easier to use than any PC has ever been. At Apple, we have three blockbuster post-PC products. The iPod reinvented the music player and changed the way people listen to music and play games. The iPhone reinvented the phone and changed all of our expectations of what a phone could be and how easy and fun it should be. The iPad, the revolutionary device that defined a whole new category. In many ways, the iPad is reinventing portable computing and is outstripping the wildest of predictions. Now, any company would be thrilled to have just one of these devices. At Apple, we're fortunate to have all three. And the momentum has been staggering. Last year alone, we sold 172 million post-PC devices. And this made up 76% of our revenues. Now, this is incredible. Apple has its feet firmly planted in the post-PC future. Now, part of the reason for this is that the things that make a great post-PC company are the things that Apple has been about for many years. It plays to our strengths. It's what we love to do. Let me give you a few examples. Our retail stores. Our retail stores provide the best buying experience and the best customer service anywhere. And while that's important for a buyer of a Macintosh, in some ways it's even more important from a buyer of an iPad or an iPhone or another post-PC device because these devices are new to many people. There needs to be a place to discover them, to learn about them before they're purchased and learn how to get the most out of them after they're purchased. This is the latest store and our largest store. It just opened this past weekend in Amsterdam. It's absolutely beautiful. And there were a few people waiting <laughs> to see the inside of the store. With our Amsterdam store, we now have 362 retail stores around the world for people to explore these new post-PC devices and 110 million customers visited them just last quarter. Now, toward the end of last year, we opened a new store in the historic Grand Central Station in Manhattan. This store is jaw-dropping. The turnout for the opening of this store was off the charts. People were really excited to get in the store. And, you know, it's a perfect place for the New York commuter. You can stop by, quickly buy an iPad or an iPhone or a Mac or an iPod, or just come to explore, or come to take a class before you have to catch that next train. Now, we were so excited about the opening of this store that we prepared a video. 
and I'd like to run it for you this morning. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, another key element of our post-PC success is iOS, the world's most advanced mobile operating system and the easiest to use by far. iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch are all based on iOS. And we have now sold an astonishing 315 million devices through last year and 62 million of those just last quarter. Now, one of the most popular features of the latest update to iOS is Siri. And Siri running on the iPhone for us, Siri is your best friend, your intelligent personal assistant who gets things done just by asking. It's a whole new way of interfacing with your phone. And our customers tell us that they love it. And the press has had some pretty good things to say as well. Now, many of you have heard what Siri sounds like in the US. It doesn't look like it's going to rain this weekend. But we thought it might be fun to let you listen to Siri from other parts of the world this morning, like in Australia. There's no rain in the forecast for this weekend. <laughs> and in France. Il ne devrait pas y avoir de pluie pour ce weekend. And in Germany. Es ist kein Regen in der Vorhersage für dieses Wochenende. And today we're bringing Siri to Japan. Siri in Japanese is a part of iOS 5.1, which is the latest edition of iOS. It is available today, and we'll be rolling it out in Japan over the next few weeks. We think our customers there are going to love it, as they have in other parts of the world. Now, you can't talk about the post-PC world without talking about the App Store. And of course, the App Store is the place to go discover and download applications that make your devices even more usable and more personal. We have almost 600,000 apps in the App Store. This is an amazing number, and it's an amazing virtuous cycle. Great apps lead to more downloads, lead to more great apps, which leads to more downloads. In fact, just a few days ago, a lucky customer in China downloaded 
the 25 billionth app. 25 billion. This is a mind-boggling number that we couldn't even have imagined when we launched the App Store just a few years earlier. Another key part of the post-PC experience is iCloud. And of course, iCloud keeps all of your content in sync across all of your devices. Take a photo using the camera on your iPhone and boom, it's pushed automatically and wirelessly to your Mac, your iPad, or even your Apple TV. It's simple, it's elegant, it's automatic, it just works. And in just a few months, we've gone over 100 million customers of iCloud. Part of iCloud is iTunes in the cloud. And iTunes in the cloud is for your music, for your TV shows, and today we're announcing that it now supports movies. So, <laughs> so you can re-download movies you've purchased on any of your devices.